Hey guys, this is Miss Smith. I'm going to be doing your comma practice number one this week. This one is over commas and direct addresses. So let's look at this box for just a few hints about what we're going to need to remember to answer these questions. It says, when addressing someone, at the beginning of the sentence, the name is followed by a comma. At the end of a sentence, a comma goes in front of the name. In the middle of a sentence, two commas surround the name. So our directions here say we need to add commas to the sentence as needed. So it looks like number one has already been done for us, but let's talk about it to make sure we understand exactly what we need to do. It says, Mr. Smith, your son is not doing well in math class. So I see that this comma is after Mr. Smith. That is who we are addressing in this sentence. So let's look at number two. Miss Potter, your little boy is adorable. So I need to figure out who I am addressing in the sentence. In this case, I know it is Miss Potter. So I'm going to put my comma immediately following Miss Potter. All right, number three. Your dogs keep coming into my yard, Mr. Stevens. Okay, so again, we need to figure out who we are addressing here. So we're talking about the dogs. Looks like we're talking to Mr. Steven. So this time our person is at the end of a sentence. So if I look back to these clues up here, it says when I have my address at the end of the sentence, I need to put my comma before it. So my comma is gonna go right after the word yard. Number four, Mr. Howard, can you please stop by the office today? All right, so based on what that is saying, I know that I am addressing or talking to Mr. Howard. So I know if my address is at the beginning, I'm gonna put my comma right after that person. Number five, we are going to need to talk to you about your tax information, Mrs. Jones. Okay, so we're needing to talk to someone. It looks like they are trying to talk to Mrs. Jones. So, she is at the end of a sentence, so that means my comma goes before her this time. Number six, the election is going to be influenced, Dr. Thomas, by your opinion. All right, so this one's a little trickier than our other ones. This time the person we are addressing is in the middle of the sentence. Now if I look back to these clues up here, in the middle of a sentence, two commas surround the name. So if I'm putting two commas, that means I'm going to put one before Dr. Thomas and one after Dr. Thomas. So remember, if it is in the middle of the sentence somewhere, that address is going to need two commas. If it's at the beginning or the end, you only need one. So make sure you pay close attention to that. All right, number seven. This water is contaminated with something, Professor Watson. So I'm talking about the water being contaminated. It looks like I'm talking to Professor Watson. So that's at the end of the sentence, which means I know that my comma will go at the end, or at the end right in front of Professor Watson. All right, number eight. John, step up to the microphone and tell us your story. All right, there's already a comma here, so let's see if that's in the correct spot. They are saying to step up the, to the microphone and tell us your story. It does look like they are talking to John, so I'm going to go ahead and underline him so we know that's our direct address, and their comma is in the correct spot. So number eight is already correct. Number nine, you have to give it all of your effort, Susie, if you want to succeed. All right, so they're talking about giving effort in order to succeed. We are talking to Susie. Okay, so this one's in the middle, which means I'm going to need two commas. I have one before Susie and one after Susie. And number 10. I think, Stephen, that you are going to need to do your homework every night from now on. All right, so it looks like we're talking about doing your homework. We are talking to Stephen. Okay, so he's not at the beginning. He's not at the end. So I know that I'm going to use that rule about commas are putting the address for commas in the middle of the sentence. So that means one is after think and one is after Stephen.